oh, I, I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. I went to college and such and such. I know how to read better than you. But you can't read 1 Timothy chapter 2 and 11 or 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. You, don't, you can't read that. You don't understand that, but you understand everything else. Them women like that, they're going to end up getting put to death because they're not in order. Okay? Keep reading. And Yahweh shall turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves, for, the, for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wounds that never bear. And the paths was never gave up. That's right. And we're going to approach a time like that because when all hell break loose, you, you women going to find out that you just, uh, you're really extra. You're not really high up there on on the principal things because when famine break in, the last thing a nigga going to be thinking about is want to tag, have you tag along with him and he have to split his meal with you. You know, say if he don't eat for I don't know, four days, and the first thing he finds is a biscuit. You think he want to split that biscuit with you and your kids? They ain't gonna wear it like that. So you, a lot of these guys out here, they gonna shit on you women, man. And then you gonna have to fend for yourselves. And then you gonna realize, oh shit. Oh, oh, I needed a man, uh, such and such. Cause a lot of y'all gonna get destroyed out here. Or you gonna have a man and he gonna get destroyed because he gonna be like a woman, okay? Scriptures speak, speak about that. All right, so the Lord, these women, they was weeping for the Lord, which was something righteous, all right? But he told them, don't weep for him. Weep for yourself and your children. Because it's a day that's going to come where you, it's going to be blessed that you are, you are a woman that never had kids. And that's what he's going to say. Keep reading. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us, yep. and to the hills, cover us. Yep. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Yeah, when we in the dry, okay? Because when you go back and read the history, about 70 AD, all right? When uh, Vespasius and his son Titus was taking down uh, the Jews that was still in Jerusalem, all right? And the Jews that was in Masada, famine broke out because they besieged and they cut off they, uh, uh, their allowance of food into the city. And then a lot of those women resorted to cannibalism. They ate their children, okay? And that's coming back. So that's why the Lord said that statement, okay? Now go to uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. That's right. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. All right? And if you work around women, or you live with a woman, all right, or you conversate with, with your family members, that's, that's females like your mom, your sister, your aunt, your niece, or your cousins, or your daughter, all right? They're all at ease, man. Here it is, the economy's about to collapse. They about to totally do away with the dollar, which they trust in, which they use that to brag over you, all right? All hell about to break loose, and they at ease. And you tell them like, well, you know, it's getting bad out here. They, they, they can't perceive that because in their eyes, they still doing good because they got a job. They able to pay such and such and that. Well, all them luxuries and things that, them opportunities that they got, it's all gonna be taken away from them real soon. And then they gonna be on their own. That's why the Lord said, rise up, you women that are at ease. All right? And that's where they pride feel, um, feel, um, come out. They pride get puffed up. We don't have all these opportunities, and then we're in at ease. That's what we want, buddy. So rise up, you women that are at ease. Uh -huh. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, careless women. For the vintage 
shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. That's right. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Be, be troubled, ye careless ones. Alright? And you you gonna you gonna find troubles in these days to come. Alright? Go to second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 16, start at 18 and read down. Alright? Kind of switch it up some. Let me get this one first. Thing. Yeah. It's a lot. Of this is a uh, Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 14. It says, I will not punish your daughters when they commit boredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. For themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that do if not understand shall fall. Meaning what? All right, we already broke it down that according to prophecy, all right, and according to the Bible, chances are the woman you're dealing with you ain't the first person to deal with her. Making her, i.e. according to the Bible, a whore, or a harlot, or a, uh, an adulteress, okay? If the Lord said he ain't gonna punish them, your daughters and your spouse for adultery, meaning what, if they repent and stop doing those things, all right? Because like I said, in this society, they did, they did all these things through ignorance, most of them. But now this word getting pushed out to the forefront, so now really they don't have no excuse. They want to continue and they hoard them, they're going to be put to death. They're going to be destroyed. Okay? It's that simple. But read that. Because we we in the days of sorrow. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 18. Yeah. The beginning of sorrow and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. That's right. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Alright? That's the time we're in. We're in the time of the beginning of great sorrows, people mourning and weeping, and that's approaching quickly. Keep reading. The beginning of wars and what, and and the power shall stand in fear. We at the break of World War Three, breaking out, man. All right, right now in the news, a lot of people don't thought the situation with Syria done calm down some. All right, because the so-called peace treaty between the Russians and America over the. Uh, the chemical weapons of Syria, right? But then, all of a sudden, you have Ben, ben and not in you, whatever that, that demon name is, the president over uh, the state of Israel, the Amalekite, he talking about the president of Iran as a wolf in sheep's clothing. So you gotta pay attention to what's going on because scriptures say, and um, let me get that real quick. The scriptures say that the least of the flock, which is these Amalekites, these so-called Jewish people, it's gonna lead America into this third world war when they attack Iran. Let me get that real quick. I'll speak while I find it. Yeah, I know what's that. This is uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 45. It says, Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon, which is America, and his purposes that he hath purpose against the land of Chaldees, Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. At the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved and the cry is heard among the nations. Going into what? The destruction of this place, man. All right, what's going to lead America into this third world war, all right, which we fastly approaching, and your leaders are uh, very cautious about making any type of moves soon. It's them so-called Israelis is going to pull America into this third world war. Started off by attacking the Iranians. And that speech that Ben and Netanyahu did, however you pronounce that demon's name, all right? He, he said to watch out for the president of Iran because he's a, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. All right. When when the president of Iran, he's not he's not uh, aggressive. If anything, he's the complete opposite of uh, what's his name, uh, Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad was coming straight forward, saying he'll blow your ass off the mouth. This guy's talking about disarming missiles and having peace with America. 
So we in a time where